That's weird. The same one as normal. Like crazy crisp. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm digging it. Look at, oh, there's, oh, shit. He was upside down for a second. Hello. Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, it's Yvonne. How you doing? Dude, living the dream. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Just got home from the track. Oh, serious? Yeah. This this track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been doing some running. Yeah, oh, so I heard. Are you prepping or did you do it? Did you do the high rocks? Yeah, I did the high rocks on the weekend. How'd it go? Yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty gnarly. It was a tough race. My um, legs are still recovering. <laughs> uh, how'd you place? I got second. Second place. To, to Benny? To Benny Garrett? No, nah, nah, Benny got um, 17th, I think. No <laughs> shit. Benny's still that good? Yeah, he, he's still got it in him. Dang. He's hey, good. Um, uh, how old is Benny? I uh, turned 35 today. Oh, no shit. Hey, would he make another yeah. run at it? You think he'd go Masters? Yeah, he's he's planning on it. No shit. Yeah, he's keen. Yeah, he's, he's still been um, training pretty hard with me and getting amongst it as often as he can. Uh, Ricky Garrard, uh, one hour, two minutes, 21 seconds, High Rocks race, just out here proving that CrossFit prepares you for anything. God, Ricky Garrard is so good for the brand. Look at that. Yeah. I'm going to get you a check for $10,000 from HQ just for that line. Yeah. No practice Please runs <laughs> or any specific training. I think if I wanted to have a more competitive time, I drop ten kg. Really, you could drop. You think you could drop twenty pounds? Yeah, I could drop that easy. No just shit. Stop, stop lifting weights. Stop hey. eating. <laughs> just run. Hey, hey, Ricky. Um, you think Jason Hopper's too big for CrossFit? No, I don't think so. He probably needs to drop ten kg. I'm you see how sure, fucking big that sure dude what is? He, yeah, I'm not sure what he weighs. What does he what does he weigh? Thousand pounds? I don't know. He's <laughs> fucking huge. I where would you lose what you would seriously you would stop lifting and then just start running and, and biking and you think you you could drop yeah. twenty pounds? Wow. Yeah, if I was serious about winning high rocks, I'd just literally just run probably thirty, forty Ks a week and just drop ten kilos and just focus on that. But that's not my goal at the moment, is it? No, you look good, by the way. You look younger than, than I remember you. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe I had a haircut. That always helps. <laughs> Caleb, um, what, what was the original world record for High Rocks? I know now it's like someone broke an hour, but w w at some point, would that hour and two minutes have been a world record? Like four uh, years ago, three years ago? Let me check. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know it's 54 minutes something at the moment. It really is that fast? Yeah. 5407 is, is the current. Is it impressive. Hunter? That's yeah, quick. it's Hunter. I remember getting off the um, lunges, I think it was, and I just started my run and it was 54 minutes. I was like, man, Hunter's finished right now. That is quick. Oh, that is crazy. Uh, huge fan. Uh, stay off the fucking bike. Yeah. When when you say you were at the track, you mean you were on um on foot? Yeah, right? I was on the athletics track. Yeah, I was on foot. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what. Thank you. I was casual. racing, racing Benny in some hundred meter sprints. Hey, is he your premier training partner? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, majority of the time. I wonder. Are I've there got a few other... few other guys, but Benny is probably the main main one. I wonder if there's any other sibling duo out there. There was this, there's this kind of this theory going around, you know, like you, you know, the theory, you get two competitive guys together and they'll push too hard. And now some people are saying, Hey, the reason why Justin Medeiros didn't do well this year is because he was just trying to beat Ellie. But you know, and there's all these theories, but I never heard anyone talk about like what it's like training with your sibling. It probably sounds like it's a great match. Yeah. I, I don't think you can beat it. I mean, We've been competitive towards each other since the day I can remember. And, um, yeah, we, we never want to lose to each other. So we always go as hard as we can. And then um, since he's your older brother, when he does beat you, like, are you proud of him? Like, do you like it? 
uh, after about an hour, two hours, I'll get over it. <laughs> no, okay, so you don't want to lose to him. Congratulations. You, yeah, you don't want to lose to him. <laughs> no, no, never. He, um, yeah, man, for 21, 20 years, I couldn't beat him at anything. Literally just, yeah, always come second to him. It was running, it was bike riding, it was ping pong, it was tennis, golf. Anything he'd beat me at. And then I started catching him in my 20s and now it's done the reverse. So, how's, how does he take that? Does he take, it, does he take it good? Yeah, he's good. I mean, he still beats me at, at ping pong and tennis. And you, play ten- you play tennis? Yeah, a little bit. How, how often is a little bit? Once a month? Uh, yeah, once a month. The the ball the the game with the yellow ball and the big court and the big rackets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. No shit. Yeah, that's a great game. You're, uh, my yeah. wife just rolled her ankle doing that. W- what about yeah. that? Are you worried about that? I, I mean, I haven't rolled my ankle, but are you worried about rolling yeah, your right. ankle doing that? Well, last time I played it, actually, my back tightened up heaps after it, so... I haven't played it in a little while. So, not too worried. But since I hurt my shoulder, I haven't honestly been doing much at all. I've just been doing CrossFit. <laughs> Is the shoulder better? Yeah. Yeah, it seems better. It's coming along. The rehab recovery has been great. I've been um, putting a lot of work into it and um, putting a lot of time and effort in with physios and my rehab and anything and everything that I can do to help it. And I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much back to a hundred percent. No um, shit. Yeah. Could have competed at the games based off the workout. So would have confidently been able to get through the games. But, hey, um, let's yeah, just cut is, to the chase, Ricky. It is, it is what it is. You ready? Were these your games to win? <laughs> Uh, yeah, not gonna, not gonna lie, it was. Don't lie. It was, it was pretty good workouts for me. Um, would have been a great opportunity, and a pretty big chance that I could have taken it out. Um, I, I want to go through the workouts with you. Do you mind? Like, just pull pull up the leader. Could you pull up the leaderboard, uh, Souza? Yeah. We we'll just like we'll just play a game and pretend like no one's watching. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I may have already played this game with myself. Yeah, good, good. It's always good to do it with yourself a few times before you go live with it. Okay, uh, is that what's the very first workout, Caleb? What is it? The forty-five minute or forty-minute bike. The bike ride. Now, do you think you would have been haunted by your accident, and you probably would have taken like twenty seventh on this? Nah, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I mean, it's a flat course. It's not. Uh, 90 degree downhill course <laughs> dude ricky i walked onto that fucking course this year and i stood in the spot where you won it the first year and you did like you did like a 180 as you crossed oh, the finish yeah. line and i was right did there big, big skid yeah. yeah right next to you or whatever that yeah, i was really devastated i couldn't relive that moment and do another big skid so you put it to uh you put it to um the Finn, the Finn, and the Canadian. You win this one. Yeah, I mean, Koski rode really well. I was, I could see what he was doing throughout the race, and I, he paced it really well and took his chance when he <laughs> could. I would have rode a very similar race to him, um, but I feel like, yeah, at worst case, second place. But I feel like I would have maybe had more power than him at the end to sprint the last lap and take it. And, and hey, here's the other thing too. Um, I suspect that that race had a bigger impact on the the athletes than they ever expected. Yeah, yeah. Going, Forty minutes is, is a long time to be going at that speed. I mean, the aftermath on the legs would have been pretty pretty brutal. I mean, Emma Lawson was was. was I think she won the women, and she was she, she was frozen. On the ground, she 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 couldn't move. Yeah, yeah, I did hear a lot of comments about people cramping and um, wanting to get like sodium and electrolytes back in and try and recover for the next event. 
And you and you're adapted to that. You you would have probably also not only would you have done great at it, but you would be adapted to it. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, I, I do a lot of bike riding, so I kind of know what that feeling is. So God, it like- sucks. You weren't here for this. I I have no proof or evidence of this, but I have to guess bec- that we're not going to see bike riding like that again. Yeah, depending on the venue, venue where they go. I was just thinking because of all the crashes. There were a lot of crashes. Yeah, that's true. If you get in a crash, if you would have gotten in a crash on the course, would you have exchanged pleasantries? Do you exchange a fuck you? What are you doing? I would have caught up to him and took him out. All right, good. (laughs) There there was some drama there. Yesterday, uh, Jake Gazan reported that uh, he thinks Emily, uh, uh, Ellie Turner maybe gave... uh, Alex Gazan a little. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Yeah, a little. Yeah. I mean, what happens on the course stays on the course. All right. It's yeah. competition. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen that clip going around um, with, uh, I think it's on the CrossFit Games Instagram with uh, Patrick Vellner at the start of the race? Have you guys seen that? No. Nah. Are you on your phone? Oh, I didn't. Or... Um, did someone give him a nudge or something or a push? It's hard. It's hard for me to tell, but it looks like maybe Jane Sprague fucking just shoved him from the back. I just can't see yeah. James Sprague doing that. Oh, wasn't that on the five k? Y- yeah. Oh, you're talking about the five k. Yeah. Is that what yeah. happened? Can you Apparently. can you freeze this, Caleb? When we, or not yet, but whenever we see. Okay, so Vellner's going. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like B, like BKG did it. God, Vellner looks like oh, a speed no, yes. skater. Sprague was right behind him. Yeah, looks like he might have got him pushed in the back. It's on Vellner's story. Does Vellner comment on it? Hey, that's all fair, right? I mean, it's it. That's obviously like you have to be a tough guy if you're going to get to the front there, right? Yeah, I mean, if someone's in your way and you're about to tread on them, you got to give them a push. Who is that in the black that's in front of Vellner? Is that yellow, yellow holster? Oh, but BKG is to the left of Vellner here. You like that running form right there, Ricky? That yellow host has got just fucking straight yeah. pose running, right? Just lean forward. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, I got well. bad news for you, Ricky. Uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> Gray goes $5. Fuck, Mary, kill. Danny Spiegel, Tia, Tumi, <laughs> Laura Horvat. Can't oh. do it, man. I can't do it. You're a smart, man. You're <laughs> smart. Are you still got a girlfriend? My girlfriend's watching. Oh, good. Hey, uh, what, what's your dog doing? Like, just standing guard for you? Yeah, he's security. No one's sneaking security. up on Ricky. Yeah. I live How in many... a bit of a dodgy area, so he's on lookout. How many people has that dog bit? Be honest. Nah, no one. He's, no one? He's flaccid. Zero bites? Bunch of money. Zero bites. Okay, let's go let's go back to uh the second event. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> so so we're giving I'm giving you first in that first one. I think it's fair. Yeah. Hook it up first. Hey, how's your how's your uh brain? Are you depressed at all that you didn't go to the games or you accepted it? I uh, accepted it. You don't you're depressed. not on suicide depressed watch or anything? Bit. Nah, just for a couple of days, and I got over it. All right. <laughs> hey, what does that look like? Are you at Are you at home? Just like fucking? Are you tense during the games at home? Yeah, to be honest, I had a pretty um, short fuse. I really, I normally got a really long fuse. It takes me, it takes a lot to set me off, but my fuse was pretty short. For the for that that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, for like five days. Yeah. Like be the best like be swearing. To- Best way to deal with it was just to go to the gym and do the workouts. Like if someone touched your protein powder, you'd be like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Kicked the dog a little bit. I just didn't, didn't really speak to anyone. Just kind of stayed quiet. Pig chipper, event number two, 10 pig flips. Is that too heavy for you? No, nah, that's cool. Yeah, you proved you're strong last year, right? Yeah, I flipped the pig pretty Pretty solid last year in that event. 25 chest to bar. Like, I mean, you could do those in your sleep. <laughs> 50 toes yeah, to bar, 100 ball, wall, ball, uh, wall ball shots, then 50 toes to bar. Man. 
you might. I mean, I did a hundred war balls unbroken on the weekend at the end of the high rocks, but I definitely wouldn't have done a hundred unbroken in this. So yeah. Uh, let me tell you who. Uh, let me go to the. I'm going to go to the leaderboard, uh, and I'm going to tell you who. Um, there you go, Savon. Okay. Roman and Lazar. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give that one to you too, buddy. First place for that one too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it would have been. I feel like it would have been a good race. Anyone in the comments have a fucking problem with that? Two first place <laughs> for great. Ricky. Anyone? Good. Keep your mouth shut. Uh, what's Ricky's <laughs> FTP on a bike? What's that mean? Uh, oh, 20 minute average watts. Um, man, I did that. 334 or something, I think it was. 330 something. What's FTP? Um, Functional threshold power. Yeah, that sounds about right. Give me one. Jesus. Second. In, in Ricky, it's a guy on a bike in his in his profile picture asking the question. Look at him. Oh uh, yeah. He just wants yeah. to like be like I'm better at Ricky or something. Yeah, I feel like that second workout was um, a lot to do with the toes to bar, and then obviously having the grip and the strength to bring the pig flip home. So normally, normally with a toes to bar workout, I'm normally up there with Lazar and Roman. So I feel like it would have been a good good race. Uh, Ricky would have won this game's hands down. Thanks. Right. Uh, Mason, thanks. For, that was. Thanks for the loop. Okay. Uh, so a third workout. So he's two firsts. Two firsts. That's good. Two firsts. Uh, that's 200 points. 100 plus 100. Okay. Uh, third workout. Uh, inverted uh, medley. Melody. Yeah. Yeah. That too. Yeah, I gave this one a go at the gym. I set it up as best I could. Um, I really like the freestanding handstand push-ups. I've always liked those. Um, but, I mean, at the games, it's a different story. It's a lot of pressure. you got to execute, no mistakes. And, obviously, doing it in your home gym is a lot easier, a bit less pressure. What, but, what was your time at your home gym, do you know? Uh, three... 34, I think. That's what I thought. Yeah. First place again. Hey, what about this guy, Bailey Martin? Is he any good? Yeah, Bailey's good. You ever he's, train with he's, him? He's a gun, yeah. No, nah, I haven't trained with him, but I know him pretty well. He's a he's a funny lad. Like good funny? Yeah, good funny. Like good sense of humor? Good, Yeah, good vibes, good sense of humor. Always is, a good time. Is he the guy that replaced you at the games? No, uh, no. Nah, nah. He didn't replace me. Oh, wait, for the semifinals, you mean? Oh, maybe for semifinals, yep. No, nah, that was um, Zach Thomas. Oh, okay. Different. Yeah. But he replaced me and ended up um, seventh, I think, at semifinal, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, that is impressive. Hey, did, was Bailey Martin the third dude out of uh, Australia? It was Jay Crouch. Second, second. Who was the third? Jake Douglas. Oh, that's right. Oh, crap, Jake. Daddy. Poor Jake Jack fucking, Daddy, yeah. something happened to Jake. The the bike fucking sucked him of his. Sucked the life out of him. Yeah, it did. He he was he was not the same. He was not, he was not feeling good. That sucked. Mm. That felt horrible for him. You know him? Yeah. Yeah, I know Jake, yeah. Yeah, he he's seems like, a, yeah, he seems like a straight up dude. Yeah, he's a good lad. Okay, so the, you're kicking ass. So you get where you're three first places. Anyone? <laughs> Go ahead, someone say something. I dare you. Yep. Yep, Ricky first again. Look, yeah, I know. It's crazy. Everyone knows. Everyone it. knows. Oh, shit. Yeah. Victor Harker talking some shit. 330 is okay. He's heavy. So I'd expect 350. Damn. Yeah. No, Ricky's not heavy. You're not heavy. Two, 205. Oh, you are heavy. <laughs> Pretty heavy. Ch chunky Ricky. I didn't even know that. Okay. Did I say that out loud? Chunky Ricky? Yeah. Been eating well. Uh, alpaca something redux. I don't know the typo or something. Uh, that's yeah. the one where you you push that impossible sled that was bringing people to a halt. You got to some rope climbs in there, legless rope climbs. Wasn't there something else? The kettlebell yeah, cleaning jerks. Cleaning jerks. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How's your shoulder yeah. overhead? You good? Yeah, I like that movement. It's good. 
That would have tested point. out your shoulder. That would have tested out your shoulder. Yeah, I've been doing those a bit, but yeah, it would have tested them about out a bit, I suppose. Are those kettlebells too heavy for you? Seventy pounds? Nah, that's good. It's good. What about that sled? I don't mind it. What about I that mean, sled? Last year's last year's event, I was leading going into the last ten reps, and I failed my tenth rep on the clean and jerk, and then got pipped on the sled coming home. What's what's that mean? Pipped? Is that Australian for something? Um, beat. Let's just say, oh. pipped like. What place um, did you take last year? Um, I think seventh, seventh in that. Let me see. Let me see. I'm a, you, you, it's yeah. okay. I'll, I'll pull this up here. Let me see. I don't want to. Pretty sure it's seven. Got to make this fair. Uh, 2022 CrossFit Games individual men. Uh, Ricky Garrard, the alpaca seventh. Yeah. Uh, behind... I mean, this this one would have been. Obviously, it was a harder workout, and it looked hot as hell. But legless rope climbs are. Uh, really good for me. Well, h- here we go. Guy wasn't there, and let's say Justin and and Hopper wouldn't have beaten you. They didn't have a good year. Those two. I don't know if you saw the games. They didn't. They didn't do. Yeah, that. didn't go too well. Okay, so we'll let Roman, Sam, and Patrick Vellner beat you on that. We'll give you fourth on that. You okay with, you okay with that? Yeah. Sounds You're gonna good. punch me when you see me. You're cool. You're not gonna be like, hey, dickhead. You gave me a fourth. You're cool. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. We'll first, first, no, first. In a fourth, okay? God, I love this game. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Okay, uh, uh, ski bag. Ooh, it's heavy. Oh, you're good with the bag. You showed you're good with the yeah. bag. You like a bag. You yeah, I don't, bag. This. I don't mind the same bag. I actually did this one at the gym. I set it up. And? Um, from memory, I would have got third with my time. I can't remember what time it was. Um, it was like a four thirty something. I think I saw it on your story. Yeah, yeah, four thirty. Four thirty seven, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Okay, uh, I can't. Sorry, I can't have you beat Colton Mertens in that. You okay with nah. that? Yeah, that's cool. I'll give it okay. to Colton. Okay, uh, and uh, and Sam Quant. Can we give Sam Quant second at four thirty four? Yeah, give him that. All right, and then, and then you squeeze in there. Third place, Ricky. Third. First, first, yeah. first, fourth, third. So it's a bad day for you. Friday's a bad yeah. day for you. It's not, yeah. not, not a great day for you. And uh, I did. I, it was um, – I had been training two days in the lead up before these events. I didn't taper or anything, just kind of squeezed it in with the program. Did you but actually I mean, do all the workouts? Always, uh, did you actually do them? Like the days the athletes were doing them? I did them the day, like they would have done it while I was asleep, and then I'd wake up and see the events, and I'd do it that day. You did the whole entire games while the nah, game just was? I only did six six workouts out okay. of the twelve. All right, good. No reason to go yeah. on twelve. Okay. <laughs> the other well, ones are too too hard to uh, simulate. Okay, then we have uh, Helena. And uh, and the, the champ fucking murdered that. First place, seven fifty six. Yeah, that was fast. I, I did this one at, at my gym as well. Oh, how'd you do? Uh, Eight oh four. I did. Okay. Okay. I tried to map out a four hundred meter run that was like a similar route to what they did. Wow, you even did that with all those weird turns and shit. Yeah, I put like um, markers on the footy field because there's a big rugby field next to our gym so i went out out the gym across the car park around the the markers on the footy field and back back to the gym where there's like a a rig we got a rig outside the gym so kind of worked perfect for that workout uh carlos uh ochoa look is he grabbing his dick for sure (laughs) uh ricky is goaded Double goaded. Thanks, Carlos. Not, not quite yet, mate. Uh, Ricky, top four in uh, Helena. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I think we can give him a third in that after Jeffrey Adler and Will Morad. We'll put you between eight oh five and eight oh eight. You cool yeah. with that? Okay. Tough. Yeah. I'm really sorry about Saturday. 
a fourth, a third, and a third. That's that's how it gone. It's an emotional come down off of um, mm, Thursday. Day day one, yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Did you think we were gonna do this when you came on? Uh, not quite. I thought you were gonna ask me, but not every work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is good. Don't ruin it. Oh shit! Oh shit! The cuts have happened. You survived the cuts. You're probably still wearing the leader's jersey. And you got the 5K. Mm. Let's talk about the 5K for a second. Did you hear about that? Did you hear about that? Did you hear about that? Between Adler and Roman? Adler was chirping him. Roman got all flustered. Oh, no. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Adler was chirping him. Roman was getting all flustered. All (laughs) flustered. Getting During the race. And um, and uh, when I talked to Adler about the stories I was hearing when I was there was just that Roman was tripping because he didn't mind the chirping, but yeah. that Adler actually touched him a few times, you know, Ooh. roughed him up a little bit on the track. And when I asked Adler about it, he's like, hey, dude, when we were at the starting line, I purposely moved people over so he could get in the front with me. Ah, uh, yeah. Helping him out. Yeah, helping a brother out. Oh, uh, out. So... The competi- competition will, though. Mm. So Adler was touching Roman, and he was like, don't effing touch me. Adler says that he didn't touch him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, who but won the know, race? You never know. Uh, Ad, uh, oh, Jelly. Yellow Hosta. Yeah, Jelly. Who won out Adler and Roman? Uh, Adler beat him by uh, nine, uh, nine seconds. No, oh, 11 my. seconds. 11 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's right. Roman looked like he was hurting, and then he just sprinted off at the end. I was like, wow. Dude's tapped. Are you, when you see these, are you, are you surprised at this finish right here, or does this look about right to you? This The hosted guy, Adler, Roman, Lazar, Jukic, Brent Fikowski, Jay Crouch. Yeah, I mean, Jay did really well. But yeah, that's pretty much the top four I would have predicted. I knew Yellow Hofstra was a good runner based off semifinals. Um, but yeah, I, I did get the heads up that it was four and a half Ks, not five Ks. So I wasn't too shocked when I seen the times. How about Chandler Smith taking seventh? That's impressive. Yeah, that's, that's really good too. That's a lot of dude to drag around. Mm. Yeah, I, I did a 5K here at home, just like around the around the beach. Mm-hmm. And I did that in 17.53. That was an actual 5K. 17.53, an actual 5K. Yeah. So I think that works out to be like 16.20 or something. Oh. Four and a half, yeah. Wow. And maybe even faster because you would have had a little juice there at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I was there running that race, I would have just sat with them like they all did in the group, and then taken off at the end. What? Um, how have you been in other running events at the CrossFit Games? Um, yeah, good. Last year we did the Capital. Me, Lazar, and Roman ran together all the way to the Capital. Well, Travis was the only one that broke off. Oh, Travis was in the heat before us. Oh, yeah. How'd you do in the capital? Um, yeah, I won it. Oh fuck! You get first place in this. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Done. Look at this. Is scientific. This is science. All over it. Okay. Uh, whoa, Patrick Clark. Uh, altitude training for Chandler. He's also run six miles while in the army. Oh, he's run six minute miles while in the army. Uh, Sean M. Ricky would have won the five uh, k. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Uh, would have been great to see Ricky and Roman battle it out and then see Ricky uh, win over Adler. God, it's crazy that you weren't there. What a woulda, weird year. Would have, should have, could have. Yeah. yeah this, is, this is just a, like a fun game here we're playing. Okay. Uh, intervals. Which one was that? What workout is that? I can't even picture. What was that one? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the box jumps. 21 box Lots. jump overs, some burpee box jump overs, some more other 15 calorie row, nine burpee. I don't even remember watching this. Six minute rest. <laughs> I don't even remember seeing this workout. I must have been interviewing yeah. people. It's in the, in the Coliseum. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Belna, Belna won it, and I'm not sure who won the girls. Maybe I can't remember. He really put it to Yannikoski. Beat Yannikoski by 24 seconds. Mm. Beat Bailey yeah, Martin by 30 I, um, seconds. Yeah, Belna smashed it. I, I know why he won because of the box jump overs. I mean, he's good on everything else, but he separated himself on the Bepi box jump overs. I thought. Can you do that technique that that Velner does, where he like baseball slides yeah, yeah. off the top? Yeah, exactly what I did. What I do on mine. That's who I was watching him do it. Who invented it. that? You inve- did Velner steal that from you? I don't know. <laughs> I was watching him do it, and I was like, "Yeah, that a boy." That's how you do it. Hey, did you text anyone during the games? Like, did you text Velner? Hey, good luck, buddy, or any? Um, oh, Velner messaged me like about the mountain bike crash and the interview. Are oh, they? Uh, Injury and stuff. And I said thanks and whatnot and said good luck. But during the games, uh, I was messaging just lousy boys, really. Jay Crouch? Yeah, Jay Crouch. He had a, he had a good first hey. couple of days, and then he was just holding on for dear life. Yeah, and heaps of people were hitting me up for tips on the bike as well when they announced the bike. The, the bike's so, easy. Just stay away from Lazar Jukic and you'll be fine. Yeah. I said just ride faster than everyone else. There you go. Okay, uh, intervals. Uh, you, w- what do you think? Did you do that one? Yeah, I did that one. I set it up mm-hmm. at the gym. I was simulated as best I could. And, yeah, I would have – at my time, I would have won. Um, I think I got 7-16, I think was my final score. Wow. You think you, – did you, did you have a judge? Um, nah, didn't have okay. a judge. Well, we're gonna have to give you, I think we should give you second place for that. Yeah, why not? Let Velner have a win. You already got three wins. Yeah, yeah I'll give it to him. <laughs> for second. Okay, so day three is looking good. Okay, Olympic total. Yeah. What is your max snatch ever? Ever? Ever. Is 135 kilos, so... Like two ninety eight, I think. Okay, and then what's your max clean and jerk ever? Uh, one sixty five, so three sixty four. I'd say. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the math I did on that. Uh, fourteen, uh, fifteen, carry the one. But uh, if I was at the games doing that right now, which mm-hmm. I did these lifts, mm-hmm. I did these lifts during the games. And I only hit 245 and what I cleaned at 145, so 320. Oh, okay. Okay. I like this. Did you miss either of your, any of your attempts? Uh, no, I didn't actually. So 565, uh, that would have put you in Last um, place, maybe. Uh, 20, <laughs> 27th place. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. Oh, because Bjorkson didn't lift. Uh, you think that's fair? Twenty seventh? You think you would have had one where you shit the bed? I mean, relative to the to the to the crew. Yeah, I mean, if I was there right now doing it with my current shoulder, that's what I would have roughly got. All right, I like it, ladies and gentlemen. This is very honest. I'll take the twenty seventh. Uh. Oh yeah, I know. Scott Hall, Ricky is choking. I know it's a tough one. It's a, it was a tough event for him. Averaging top five. We'll all go out drinking um, uh, at the after twenty uh, seventh. I can't believe it's a it's a first, a first, a first, a fourth, a third, a third, a first, a second, a twenty seventh. Fucking got a home, homeboy got a hole in his game. Okay, uh, on to the next one. Let's not. Would you would you would you overcome that mentally? Would you be cool? Like would you would that? How how would you deal with that? Yeah, I mean, if I had those placings leading into it and I was still in first, then the show goes on. All right. Uh, Big Baca 99. I love this game. Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> uh, Trish, uh, Ricky, does that Aussie pussy hit different? That's not, that's oh. not cool. That is not cool. I'm, I'm sorry, Ricky. I, I apologize. Uh, uh, Trish is like a 69-year-old lady. She... She's, she thinks she can get away with saying anything because she's old. I mean, 
All I can say is that people that come to Australia rarely go home. Rare of the fair. Wow. It's anecdotal. Oh, uh, <laughs> who would best play uh, Ricky in a movie? Uh, Chris Hemsworth, Mel Gibson, uh, Russell Crowe. I think we have to find a um, up and comer. Hey, what if this really isn't Trish and someone's just stolen Trish's identity? Yeah, they're awfully chatty today. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, Matt Burns has a, a ask Justin. Wow. Okay. We, we Yeah, that's fair. We'll ask Justin. <laughs> oh, no. It's so inappropriate. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. God I damn it. I went down that way. I, I'm sorry. The show always. It's that, now I, I kind of understand why people, some people don't, the show isn't for some people. Uh, muscle up <laughs> logs, um, five rounds for time, seven muscle ups. Oh, this one was cool. This one was cool. Yeah, this one's awesome. Would you think you'd have broke your? You think you'd have broke your ankle on this one? Broke your foot on this one? Shit. Damn, I hope not. Poor Roman, eh? That was devastating. You're probably one of the better Couldn't athletes. Better athletes out there. Just period. Like, I mean, you, you're not a one trick pony. You ride bikes. You play tennis. Mm. You can do all sorts of shit. You can run. Right? You're agile. Yeah. Like, if you just bounce yeah. off a bag. Yeah, I'd like I can't, to think so. I, I would think less of you if you like. I'm not surprised that Roman hurt his foot on the bag. He's like just the big, you know, strong Russian, but like the agile athlete. If you'd have done it, I would have like been disappointed in you. It would have been embarrassing. Yeah, a little bit. I'd have been like, oh shit, I thought Richie was Richie. Athletic. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Sevon, clean it up. Tough. Okay. Tough way to go. Okay. Tough way to not win the games, poor Roman. You did not do this one. You couldn't set this one up. Nah, couldn't quite set it up. I, I went to do it with the yoke, put sandbags over the yoke, jump over the yoke, but then I needed the next yoke to be higher and then I only had one yoke and I was like, oh, this is too hard to set up. So we'll just give it a miss. Um, did you do the um, that workout that year where you had to put the bags over the hay bales? Yeah. Yeah. How, how'd you place in that? I won it. You, you did win that? In, yeah. 2017, yeah. And that had running in it too, right? Yeah, running, burpees, sandbag over the hay bales. God, you're yeah, good I mean, at this CrossFit it's... shit. This is to this is so weird because this is such a fucked up game to play. You couldn't play this with anyone. I don't see one hateful comment in the comments, which is amazing. Like if if <laughs> if you didn't really legitimately have a chance to win the games, like like really really win it, nobody would be. Uh, everyone would be like, this is stupid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, ring muscle ups is one of my strengths. Sandbags are strength. I mean. Like if you were be, sleepwalking, be on this event. if you slept walk and then like you woke up and you were doing muscle ups, you'd walked over to the gym and were doing muscle ups. You wouldn't be surprised. That's how much you like them. Yeah, I do love a muscle up. I'm giving you first on this, especially because you have something to prove after that 27th. You come out hard, right? Oh yeah, sure. This and you execute on it too, right? You don't day. let you don't fuck up. You execute on it. Grab each bag the first time, <clears> get it over. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, I would have loved loved that event. Who who did win that event? Uh, Jeffrey Adler. Adler. Uh, yeah. Hey, what what do you mean, Buster Cherry? Nah, fifth. Let me tell you. Let me tell you're telling nah, me fifth. that. Listen to the people who uh, Jeffrey Adler, Yannikowski, Yellow Hosta, Roman Krennikov, Patrick Vellner, Justin Medeiros, Dallin Pepper, Will Moore. They're good names, but I mean, yeah, I think definitely top two. All right. I'm going to give you I a mean, first it's, it's always hard to predict because you're not there. You're not in the heat. You're not – you had the fatigue from the last few days. But Very hard to predict. That's why we have our best scientists on this, me, you, and Caleb. And <laughs> fucking 508 people in the chat. <laughs> it, is a, it is a beautiful workout. It is, right? You should have seen it in person looking at it. It was such a cool setup. Yeah. Yeah, it looked awesome. Anyone who's like, I can't, we need to professionalize the sport. I'm like, dude, did you not see that setup that Rogue did and CrossFit did? Yeah. That thing was crazy. Yeah, that's like it. Uh, oh, oh, Sean M. Uh, Roman's foot uh, got last place in this event. It did. 
savage. Oh, how we do it. Uh, Hippin still loves muscle ups too. That's cool. Damn. Ricky, you're in Australia right now. Yeah. What yeah, a crazy, man. what a crazy good connection we have. Yeah, it's going good. That's Especially your house. You're at your home. house. Yeah. What is that stuff behind you? Leica. Is that what you can say? Or just like, oh, that's like, is that just like a like just a box you sit on and like lift up? Oh, uh, it's a, it? it's a, um, yeah, it's a bench. Yeah, you lift it up and you store stuff. Yeah. Your dog you sleep up there? No, no. <laughs> The other stuff is um, my dog's dog food oh. that I buy them. Looks like a box of diapers. Hundred dollars a week, to be honest. I spend for the dogs. Raw, de- like some raw dehydrated food. Yeah, raw, raw dog food. It's frozen special. or dehydrated? Uh, it comes frozen. Wow! But they guaranteed me that my dogs will live ten years longer. So yeah, I signed I- up. I believe it. <laughs> Unless they go bike riding with you. A Tank Reeves, <laughs> is Ricky doing Rogue? you have to wait and see. Dude, he is. Good question. Are you, um, uh, how many people are involved in the decision making with your shoulder? What's going on with your shoulder? Do you, do you have a, a council? Uh, um, yeah, just kind of between the physio, really. And just kind of trial and error. Just kind of. Once I feel confident, I'm ready to hit the floor again. I'll I'll be out there. So just kind of time will tell. But I'm progressing very fast every week. So I mean, Rogue's looking like a possibility. It's awesome. Hide current comment. Okay, um, we are on. Um... No, no. Here, this is what I want. Where am I looking? Okay. Uh, we are on the uh, parallel bar pool. I have to take a quick break to pee. Yeah. And I'm going to run really this like... uh, this one quick ad while we think about it. Everyone think about this. Ricky has a uh, first, a first, a first, a fourth, a third, a third, a first, a second, a 27th. And then he's just come out with fucking the double Danielle Brandon. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. And, and won the uh, first. sandbag over the, the bar. Okay. We'll be back in uh, 60 seconds. My old mattress was trash it was so hot i couldn't control the temperature my wife my wife's boyfriend everybody was pissed about how hot it was it was crazy and you know what i'm done with the battle you want different temperatures you can make that happen you could have your temperature she could have her temperature the dude next to her could have his temperature doesn't matter it's all good this episode is brought to you by eight sleep summer is reaching its apex and there's nothing worse than tossing and turning and sweating your hog off at night because of the summer heat the pod cover by eight sleep will keep you cool all night long baby all the way down to 55 degrees crazy right 55 degrees your mattress couldn't even dream of that so you wake up fully refreshed the pod cover by eight sleep fits on any bed like a fitted sheet slips on nice and easy the pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting the temperature on each side of the bed based on your and your partner's individual needs and it adjusts based on the phases of your sleep in the environment that you are in now i thought i was sleeping good before but i realized that wasn't until i got the pod cover i love eight sleep because i can adjust mine down to a brisk 68 degrees she has her too i love my eight sleep also thank you matt Souza. sorry he's really pushy <laughs> anytime i go to the bathroom he just jumps in and just can't stop talking about that pod cover uh, i've got one of them you do yeah they're good you have the king size one queen did it change you have a queen size bed yeah is it just for you <laughs> no. you sleep you 205 pounds of man you sleep in a queen size bed with a girl yeah we like we like it snugly. It's all good. She so she can't get away. There's like nowhere to hide. No. Nah. Hey. Go. <laughs> um. Uh. Did it change the um? Did it change the texture of your mattress or anything? Did it change like how does it work exactly? I have one. I haven't stuck it on yet. How does it like? I'm afraid if I'm. Gonna, oh, yeah. It's in that black bag, and I'm afraid I'm going to open it, and it's going to be just <laughs> fucking everywhere. Yeah, it's a little tricky to get on, but once you get it on, and then you get your sheet. Over the top, and it actually you can't really notice it. It's it's kind of like just an electric blanket. Like you get in and it's warm, and you're like, oh, it's nice. And and it didn't change the like the. Did it make your bed firmer? I'd love it if my no. bed was a little firmer. No, 
It does it uh, fill with air or water or what's it fill with? Water, water, water. It's like a really thin film through the through the sheet, and you can't really feel it. It just it's controlled by water. Yeah. That's why I have to fill that black thing up with water first, like vinegar yeah. and whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Did you use distilled water? Did you follow the instructions, or are you just like, fuck it, I'm using tap water? Uh, yeah, I didn't have distilled water, so you just tap water it. it is. Yeah. Well, shit, that's good. Wow, eight yeah, just got good. a plug. You just got a plug from Ricky Garrard. Holy shit! Yeah. All right. Yeah, game changer. Caleb, see. See that? Nice. Nice, it's nice. The needle mover. <laughs> this is the needle mover podcast. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't uh, schedule anyone after him. It's always nice talking to Ricky. Yeah, yeah I don't want. I, I, I don't want to be uh, crowded. Okay, uh, parallel. Uh, uh, we only two, only two workouts left of the CrossFit Games. Yeah. You have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 points just from your first places, and let's say 90, 90, 90, or let's say 80, 80, 80, just to make it easy. It, uh, times four, three twenty. That gives you eight twenty. Oh shit! You have eight hundred and twenty points uh, plus your twenty seventh. You have eight hundred and seventy points. About. I'm just making that up. Okay, so I mean, you're winning, so, but it's not. You're what? not running away. Adler's fucking with you. <laughs> what am I on? Eight, eight seventy. Yeah, something. I just kind of made that up. I oh, you f- made that. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I just gave you like the fourth, the third, the third, and the second. I just gave you all eighties for, and that twenty seventh, I gave you sixty. Yeah. yeah. So that'd be if we had some like some real journalist on here, they'd have figured that shit out. Yeah, we can do the math at the end. How much better is it? How much fucking better is it that I ha- I'm honest and I haven't seen the fucking mattress. I didn't know Ricky fucking had that. I played the fucking commercial and he fucking loves it. But no, <laughs> you give your fucking sponsorship money to these other fucking ding dongs that reach it high. <laughs> Get trifecta now. I can't believe my six pack. Is trifecta a sponsor of yours? If they are, I apologize. No, then. Not. Okay. Get trifecta now, and you too can have a six pack with your roast beef. Oh, I dropped my roast uh, beef. It's fucking awesome. The best, the best meal company out there is Live Fit Nutrition. Based out of Australia? Yeah. You eat their stuff? Yeah, every day. Can I get it in the States? Uh, I might be able to send you a box. No, but I mean, just like in general, don't uh, send me boxes. Nah, they, they can nah, make money nah. off me. No, okay. No, nah, unfortunately not. And, and, w- and what but, happens? It, it just comes. Your, it comes with that dry ice in it, and it's your house. Yeah. No, he he literally his kitchen is empty at the start of the week. Uh-huh. He sh- all the orders come in on a Sunday night, and he shops for all the food. He cooks it that week, boxes it all up and vacuum seals and it's on your doorstep Friday morning and yeah it's not, nothing's frozen everything's fresh oh shit and the ingredients are unreal it's clean it's all grass fed beef how do you stop yourself from like eating like Monday and Tuesday's food all on Monday is that hard yeah do you do that sometimes I actually get a lot of meals so it's actually hard for me to get through them all oh okay Hey, see that fruit right there where it says live fit supplements? You see that fruit right there, that passion fruit? Yeah. I shit you not, those are like two to three dollars a piece in California. And I have like I have passion I have ten thousand of them. I have, yeah? I have yeah, I'll send you a picture. My yard is I it's overrun oh, by them. them. Yeah, I grow them. Oh uh, nice. That's cool. Yeah. Do you grow those? Do you have those in Australia? Passion fruit? Yeah, yeah we love passion fruit, but like, How much yeah, are they for buy, one? I don't buy them because they're oh. expensive. Yeah. Oh, they're expensive there too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you live in Santa Cruz and you want to eat passion fruit, it, it, DM me. I will fucking hook you up beyond fucking belief. Yeah, yeah that's cool. I have so many. It's cra- It's it's crazy. But yeah, they are unreal. They got heaps of options. Heaps healthy. Live Fit does. Yeah. Oh shit! There you are. There's me. You got brownies, nice. It's nice. Yeah, they they do like um, muscle and beef. They do surf and turf. They do chicken palmies. I don't know what they PRP do. is. A Tank Reeves wants to know: Would PRP work on shoulders? What is that? Is that like that prolotherapy where they inject? Oh, uh, that's um, blood, blood plasma sort of stuff. Um, where they take the blood out and then spin it and. 
put it back in. It's, are you doing like every fucking possible fucking legal thing to to help you? Like, are you like go to acupuncture and a shaman? Yeah, and like de yeah. de inflammation and just everything. Mm. Yeah, everything. Acupuncture. That red, that fucking red light thing that everyone's yeah. like, look at my red light. You even got one of those? Yeah, I got one of those. Move yeah. plus. Yeah, it's actually a gun. It helps you. Really? Mm. Yeah, sometimes I have like localized like aching in the shoulder. Yeah. And I wear, wear that for like 40 minutes, 30 minutes, and then the ache's gone. God, I thought a red light just meant the whores in back in the day when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, just like you see the red light, she's like, "Oh, she's home." Like, hey, hey, um, oh, yeah, that's just a joke. Bad joke. Have you ever been to Amsterdam, Ricky? No, nah, I haven't. No, no, I, I kind of know what what it's they, about. They got they got a they got a district there, a red light district. Yeah, yeah. And my mom sent me away to college, and the first stop before I went, to, she sent me away to college for a semester in in London. And the first stop I was going to go was I went to Amsterdam. Really. And, and and I went to the red light district, and the whole flight there, I'm thinking I'm going to go there and get a girl, right? You had a great time. I didn't. I just I, I turned it. <laughs> it was like it was like I was at the. It, turned, it went from like, hey, I'm going to go there and just fuck, to like, oh my god, these are like real human beings, and it's like going to yeah, the pound. Yeah. Like you start it's feeling sorry for them. Oh, it was fucking. Someone's daughter. Yeah, it was horrible. I hated it. I hated Sad. it. Yeah, it was. Had a crisis up. in the red light district. You had a crisis. No, you did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. I know what a puss. I know it was yeah. crazy. I crumbled. I was just like, I started thinking the shit like that. I was like, wow, these but, are people. Like, believe it is, or not, yeah. My my girlfriend was born in Amsterdam. No shit. Yeah. She's not Australian. Nah, she's Dutch. Oh, that's cool. But she moved to Australia when she was seven years old. Oh, so. I want to go back to that quick question. Does that Australian pussy hit different? He doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't there you go. know. There you go. Parallel <laughs> bar. Uh, parallel bar. Uh, what about weed? Are you smoking weed for your shoulder? Nah. Oh, good. Do you smoke anything? Nah, nothing. Yeah. You seem it's... very, you're pretty, you seem very sober. Just thin and sunshine. How about bike? Have you been on a bike since your accident? Yeah, road bike. I have. Just on the, on the road. But I actually sold my mountain bike um, two weeks ago. No shit. Yeah, it's gone. Was that emotional? <laughs> yeah, I cried. You did? No, nah, I didn't cry. <laughs> oh, was it <laughs> but, emotional though? Uh, yes and no. It, it, I had a kind of bittersweet feeling when I looked at it. So I was kind of happy but sad to move it on. Um, what was the thought process in selling that bike? How, why did you? What, how did that come about? I mean, did you need the money, or like, or you were trying to yeah. protect yourself, well, or like? Yeah, more so. Just I um, wasn't going to use it anymore. Uh -huh. it's, it's designed to go downhill and do big steep hills and big jumps and stuff. So. I figured I'm not going to do that stuff anymore. So what's the point of having the bike just sitting there and it's just devaluing and um, like it's cheaper. The value of it is just declining. So I thought move it on while it's still worth a bit of money and, and um, yeah, got my money's back for it. And did, did you put it online to sell it? Yeah. I had it online for a while on Facebook. I wasn't like, rushing to sell it i just kind of put it online and thought oh, if someone wants it they can take it so you put it up and high then, yeah too high, too high you're like yeah yeah you put it up like for the brand new value price because you yeah, didn't really want much. to sell it <laughs> yeah i had some ridiculous offers and stuff and i was like no 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 i can't sell it that cheap and then yeah one guy wanted to follow through with it he didn't even come and look at it he lives in another state and i i took it to the shop that I bought it from and they boxed it up and mailed it straight to him. Wow. I got, yeah, did, he, did you know who you were? Nah, I don't think so. Nah, he, he, he just wanted to buy the bike cause he bought his wife a, a similar bike and they wanted to go riding together. Did you tell him weekend. that that bike cost you $350,000? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, Does I should tell go? him that. You should tell him that. I should tell him that scratch right there cost me $315,000. God, that's fucking <laughs> nuts. Okay, so that's a... Um... Would it be fair, like if I if I like if I, if I called one of my friends tonight, I was like, dude, I talked to Ricky Garrard and he, he sold his bike because he knows that he he should not be on it and he was t he, he didn't want to be tempted to get on it. Is that yeah? yeah I mean, I'm just making much. that up, but that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. The temptation he wouldn't be like was... Sevon's a liar. That's there's some truth to that. Yeah, for sure. Temptation was was coming back, so it's time to get it out of my <laughs> sight. Wow. Hey, did any, what about your friends that you ride with? So is it like, like your friends who like yeah. are addicted to drugs or like, Hey dude, you can't come over here anymore. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, they're cool. They're, they're a bit devastated that they've lost their riding partner, but they know I'll be back riding with them in five, six years. Yeah. You'll be back. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. That means he's doing rogue. Uh, what was, uh, the mountain bike? What kind it of mountain was, bike? Uh, specialized Levo. Oh, <clears throat> and and uh, not electric, just a re just the the lever. Yeah, right? it was electric. It, it was electric. Yeah, it was ex expert. <sighs> yeah. I purchased it for like fourteen grand. It was a, it was a sick bike. Uh, and, and what was the road? What's the road bike you have? Uh, Trek. Trek. It's pretty old school, to be honest. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm actually looking at upgrading. Yeah, that's it. Similar. Yeah, that's the that's the S Works one. I should send you some pictures, some crazy pictures of uh, my friend's bikes. One of my friends has a, a Levo addiction. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're an awesome bike. It's crazy. He has a crazy addiction to bikes. Yeah. He just, yeah, they're they're like art. Those bikes are like artwork. You're like you're riding mm. art. Mm. Don't yeah, you think? It's insane. It's insane. The, yeah. the terrain that they can handle and the suspension and even the, what, the braking system, how the battery works, and it's nuts. Uh, RB, uh, uh, Ricky Garrard. Am I pronouncing your last name right? Garrard. Ga Garrard. 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 Yeah. Garrard. Garrard, yeah. Gerard. I like to say Garrett when I'm sometimes when, I, when I'm angry. <laughs> Fucking Ricky Garrett didn't show up at the game. Fucking uh, do you have a middle name? Yeah, Mac. Mac. Fucking Mac. Fucking Mac. Fucking Mac. Really? M A C K? That's your middle name? M A C. Ricky Mac? Ricky Mac, yeah. Wow, dude. Dude. Wow. <laughs> How the <laughs> fuck do you not use that? Your dad loves you. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. How should I use it? You just, just fucking Ricky, Ricky Mac. Mac. That's Dude. your fucking name, yeah. Ricky Mac. Yeah. Holy shit. That people, is heaps pimp, of people dude. call me that, actually. They do? People do? Yeah. I'm a star. My, my friends and oh. some, people I, some people I train with. Hey, can I? Can, look at Ken Walters <laughs> even knows. Stud. Yeah, dude. Wow. Ricky Mac. Wow, yeah, look at Elise Car Rodow, Ricky right. Mac Forever. Dude, it's that's crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ricky. Let's run with it. How did how did they come up with that? Do you know are you named how did they come up with Ricky yeah, Mac? My, did they listen to rap music? My mum's dad's name was Mac. Oh, that is great. Oh, that's that's nice dope. Hey, don't ruin it, Bernie. Don't ruin it. I love you, Bernie, but don't ruin it. What did we, not, not not Mac Truck, just Ricky Mac. Just he's a Mac. He's the fucking Mac. Mac and G's, yeah, and Ricky Mac, yeah. Look at Ann, Ann, yeah, you know, Ricky Mac. Ricky Mac, yeah, I like it. Let's run with it. All right, yeah. Greg Glassman knows that's a dope name. That's not really Greg Glassman, by the way. Don't get all like some <laughs> people think it is. Don't get all crazy. <laughs> uh, Trent Morell, we have two events to get through. Come on, let's get through these. Uh, Trent Morell, do you ever enjoy a pint on the weekends, or are you sober? Nah. Unfortunately not. I'm a, I'm a sober Steve. Um, is, is that because of your dedication to the win, the victory? Yeah. Yeah, just dedication to the, yeah, the sport, CrossFit. I can only drink if I podium at a competition. That's my, that's my deal. Dude, I love it. I had so this. If I, if I podium and there's an after party, then you'll see me there. I had this dude on the show, um, Patrick Bed David. 
I think he's worth like probably three hundred million now. When I had him on, he's worth like one hundred and fifty million dollars. And he, at one point in his life, he said that he wasn't going to have sex until I think even ejaculate until he had a million. He was worth a million dollars. I think. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah, that is wild. But it's putting a carrot on the end of the stick, right? Yeah. Whatever it takes. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, Farmer Fit, uh, Ricky Mac Paddywhack, give a dog a bone. Okay. <laughs> sober Mac. Yeah, Sober Mac. Sober Mac. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Uh, he has answered this. I don't even know what you're fucking talking about, and it's okay. I ask the same thing all the time. Stop. It's okay. Do, are, you, are you annoyed if I ask you the same question two or three times? Nah, that's cool. As long as it's not games week. I understand. Uh, par- you have a dad who's fit. How old's your dad? 64, I think. Yeah, you're used to dealing with old people like me who ask the same shit over and over. Yeah, yeah. Normally my mom, but yeah. Uh, parallel uh, bar <laughs> pool over. So that was, uh, would, that, would that make you dizzy? You're on the older end of athletes. Those, all those pullovers, 16 pullovers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they made me dizzy as hell. They did. I was all cockeyed when I got off, trying to yeah. walk back to the to the traverse, uh, the pirouette. Yeah, how, how, oh, so you did this but one. This is a different different workout. How, 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 did you do this one? No, nah, I didn't do this one. Oh, you've, got them, did... you've got them mixed up. You're talking oh, about so the, the inverted traverse. medley. Oh, 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 okay, my bad, sorry. I have them mixed up. See, yeah. more old people shit, okay. Uh, you. Eight rounds for time, down and back, P-bar traverse, oh yeah, okay. 30 heavy rope double unders, a one-section handover, Hand sled pull. This was mixed with handstand push-ups the last time you saw it, right? This P-bar yeah. thing? Oh, last year. Nah, yeah. squat cleans and, and dips. It wasn't handstand push-ups? Nah, nah. Oh, how did you do on this? Uh, last year, I came seventh, I think. Six or seventh. How do you think you would have done this year? Um, yeah, I... I like it. I think maybe around around the same, similar, six, six or seven. Okay, let's give you. We'll give you. We'll give you a sixth. Yeah, I mean, I do love a hand over hand sled pull. Did, but did you and do I, this I do, one? Did you set this one up? Nah, I didn't oh. set it up. I didn't okay. quite have the hand over hand sled pull to do. I've got parallel bars, and I mucked around with that technique and was pretty confident with it. You can flip around and do do all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Damn. You have a good set, like a legit, like gymnastic set, like something that looks pretty yeah. good. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a legit set. Hey, um, uh, the people that if you took six, the people that would have beat you would be Brent Fikowski, Patrick Vellner, Yonikowski, Bjorg Van Carl, Goodmanson, uh, um, uh, Dallin Pepper, and then would have been uh, Ricky Mack, and then Lazar Jukic. Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. Okay, we will give you six. Going to the okay. final event, uh, Echo Thruster Final. What was that one? I forget what that one was. There's lots of Echo Blacks and three barbells. Work your way up the field. Finish with the lunges. Oh yeah, you know I don't even think I. I think I was in. I would think I was underground by the corrals. You know when they in, in Madison when they walk out. I think I was just there, just interviewing uh, people yeah. as they came out, either excited or devastated. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think I got to watch this. Uh, the yeah. Dallin Pepper took first, then Samuel Quant, then Justin Medeiros, then Yonakoski, then Jeffrey Adler, then Jay Crouch. Would you beat Jay Crouch at this? Uh, I feel like it'd be pretty similar with Jay on this one. Maybe, maybe just behind him. He's that wow. You 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 got lo- some love for Jay Crouch. He's good, huh? Yeah, he's he's got he's got some wheels. He goes all right. So you give yourself a seventh on this. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I mean, if you were in the leaders' jersey and it was the last event, and you had to do whatever it takes to keep the jersey, man, you'd sell your soul no matter what. I'm, do, I'm doing some. I'm doing some quick quick math here. Uh, eighty-five, uh, eighty-five, uh, one hundred, uh, ninety-five. 
how, what, how many points do you think you get for 27th? I'm going to give him 35 for that. Not, not many, because it was top 30 at the time. And then 100. And then, mm-hmm. and then uh, five, uh, so 70. And then 70, let's say. Okay. Uh, 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 300. Plus 165 is 465. Plus 85 is 470. Plus 80 is uh, 550. Plus 100 is 650. Plus 95 is 745. Plus 35 is 780. Plus 100 is 880. Plus 140. Oh, you'd easily. Oh, 140 plus 880. Let me see. That's 1,020. Oh, damn, you're good. Okay. Well, fuck. Unofficial. <laughs> <laughs> the scientist. Done his uh, calculations. Let's see how the audience would react with the, um, uh, 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 Ricky wins with the, Ricky Mac wins with the broken foot. Uh, Ricky, oh, Ricky changes his name to uh, Ricky Mac. Uh, Sevon's uh, third grade math in full effect. Um, would Ricky have also won Spirit of the Games? Uh, yes. Double <laughs> double win. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Is Ricky doing Wadapalooza? Yeah. I'll be there. Yeah? Which one? Yeah. Which one? Yeah, the California one's not till end of next year, right? Yeah, I think you're right. So you know, Jan- when is Waterpalooza in January? January, yeah. You think you'll be on a team there? Yeah, I'd love to do what I did last year, do individual and then a team. How'd you do in the individual? Yeah, I won. Oh, of course. And so you, had, you got one <laughs> beer. One beer for, for Ricky. One beer. And how'd you do on the team? Um, seventh we got. I was with Tim Paulson and Matt Delugos. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That was good fun. Um, has anyone ever chirped you at the games? Like, you ever had any, any issues where you, like, thought someone took anything even remotely too far? Or was any good any good shit-talking stories? Uh, no. Not, not that I can remember. Do you, do you I mean, talk? Would you, would you chirp people? Do you chirp Benny? Like when you're when you're racing them, like after you're done, if you beat them, yeah, a little bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah. What would you I say? I mean, yeah, him? last year, last year there was a bit of banter and like friendly rivalry between some people, like Lazar, um, Hopper. Hopper's always good. For oh yeah, some banter. Um, yeah, Belner, Belner's, Belner's always got something to say. It's, it's always funny. Hey, what do you what do you think about um uh what what happened to Jason Hopper a thirty what the fuck place did he take thirtieth thirty first thirty first do you have any thoughts yeah. on it No, I was pretty shocked to be honest I'm not not too sure what happened um but yeah just a bit hard for him I suppose to figure out what happened as well but sometimes that's just the way it goes. John Young, Ricky, what's your 4.5K time? <laughs> uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to retest. Um, you, we don't know if you're doing Rogue, so I'm going to go out on a limb and just say that you're um, still taking the shoulder out for some test runs. Yeah. Is, is is it just the shoulder? Is it just the shoulder that you're that's that yeah. you want to make sure you don't want to come back early and, and and set yourself back? Yeah, yeah, just the shoulder. Everything else is good. And then and so the shoulder's good enough that you're like fuck yeah. By December, whenever Wadapalooza is, you're oh, I'm gonna get this. Yeah. yeah. Will you will I'm you get confident. an in, will you get an invite to Wadapalooza? How does that work? Or do you have to do some qualifier? Uh, I hope so. I'm not too sure, but normally the games athletes get an invite, but I'm hoping that because I'm the previous champ oh, that I get, a, get an totally. invite. Totally. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That's a cool event like that. They take care of people. Like they, they, they yeah. don't get caught up on too much shit and they and they make sure the right people are there, right? Yeah. 
But yeah, if I, if I can somehow get an invite for Rogue, then then I'm definitely going to consider it. And just, I mean, I can do everything. It's just if a one rep max comes up right now, I would wouldn't be at my full potential. But I mean, uh, you know me, I'll, I'll dive under a snatch or try and get something on the board. But um, you wouldn't reach your full potential because. You're mentally not there, physically not there, or you're hurt still? Nah, physically. Phys okay, physically, you, you, yeah. so you just need to build the strength up again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I, mean, I, I can do the movement, but just the, my full strength is not there for snatch and uh, jerk. Do they look at the tear? Like, like, do you periodically go in and somehow they can look at the tear and be like, yep, it's all healed up? Yeah, I could get an MRI and have it looked at. But they but, don't. Yeah, they don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, if it wasn't fully healed, you'd know about it. But I don't. I don't have any pain in the shoulder at all. It's just strength that I'm building back. A uh, uh, dear Bill and Katie, on behalf of uh, Ricky Gerard, if you are doing invites this year, I would like to endorse him. Caleb, do you want to endorse him? I'll endorse him. Yeah, okay, Caleb and I, uh, uh, the, that's the majority of the Seven on Podcast. The Seven on Podcast, if Susan doesn't <clears> want to endorse him, fucking we all vote him. We'd like to endorse uh, Ricky, Ricky Mack, I just call him Ricky Mack, to, um, to be invited to uh, Austin uh, to perform and uh, add value. You're going to add value to the event, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, there we go. Give, okay. the, give the spectators and fans something to watch. Uh oh, I, oh, I lost someone. Uh, okay. Well, thank you, thank you for uh, thanks a the lot. eight sleep thing. I'll send you a thousand dollars. Wait, are we still alive? Uh, yes. Oh darn it. Uh, thank you for uh, everything, dude. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for giving me your WhatsApp number. Yeah. I yeah. can't believe I can actually just fuck with you now. I can just yeah. get a hold of you, crank call you, yeah. and shit. Text me. Text, yeah. text me whenever you want. Call me yeah. whatever. Hey, do Aussies um uh, look at? Do you look at WhatsApp like the way I would look at iMessage? Like I look at iMessage every like six minutes. Is do you guys look at i WhatsApp like that? Nah, oh. just if I get a notification, I'll I'll read it. Oh, okay. All right, dude. Well, thanks for coming on. You the man, and congratulations no, uh, on the CrossFit Games. It sucks you didn't get the money, but fuck, <laughs> you won. Un unofficial rookie Matt. Yeah. All Take right, care of yourself. Thanks. I look forward to talking to you soon. I'll be bugging you soon. Yeah. No, thanks, Savan. All right, brother. Thanks Say hi to Benny me for me. Yep. Yeah, anytime. We'll do. Okay. Ciao. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bernie Gannon. Ricky Mack. There, there's some dude in here who just has a hard on for Ricky in the comments. Where is that guy? Dude. Did, did you see the comments? I don't think so. Man. Was it Farmer Fit? Uh, oh, sorry, Mike Crumley, uh, four ninety nine. Ricky, did you get emotional when the muscle hamster won the sandbag ski event? Who called? I, I'm not calling him. I'm not calling Colton Mertens that. The original muscle hamster, I think, is Tori Dyson. I agree, but then everybody keeps using it. Yeah, I think it just sticks with her. Uh, ho home run events this year for Ricky at the games. I agree. A little baseball, Barry Bonds. Thank you, Rosie. Hi, thank you, Rosie. I came up with that for for Colton. You came up with that for Colton or for Tyson? If you came up with it, Colton, our friendship's over. If you came up with it for Tori Dyson, she probably hates you. No one wants to be called a muscle hamster. I think, I think Bill Grundler's the one that came up with that. I don't want to. I'm not 100 percent certain, but I think it was him. Yeah, of course. At least Carradow. I bet you Colton hates it. I'm not even going to say that word on the show anymore. No one wants to be a hamster. Shit, I said it. <laughs> I'm tripping. Tomorrow morning, I got this guy coming from Rolling Stone. Yeah, what the hell? I, I wonder if I type in um, roll, Rolling um, Stone woke on, on... I mean, I'm going to be... Obviously, I'm going to be... Woke companies don't go broke and profits prove it. That's like a Rolling Stones. Um, it's a Rolling Stone article. Article, yeah. Oh no! And it says, uh, "Sorry, uh, the article is just sorry, Kid Rock. Bud Light's gonna be fine, dude." 
I was hoping it was going to be behind a pay- be behind a paywall or something. That would have been funny. Um, the right is absolutely terrified of woke AI. He's the guy that wrote the article about uh, Dale, right? Dale yeah, King. He did, and he did a great job. That's dope. I'm going to put that in the chat real quick. Damn. <clears throat> All righty. When I saw he was getting interviewed by Rolling Stone, I kind of got a little excited for him. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why. I just, I just imagine Rolling Stone still has like the prestige of the name, I guess. Well, the cool thing is, this guy's been around forever. This guy knows some shit. I mean, he comes from a good pedigree. He's not, he's not uh, some teeny bobber. Uh, yeah, that's cool. So. Yeah, hopefully, dude, I think it's going to be... Oh, oh, you did put it in there. That's cool. Mm-hmm. How come I can't click it? Can can other people click it? Do they got to copy and paste it? If they're watching it on YouTube, they can click on it. They oh. just can't... I mean, we can't click on it because we're using the streaming platform. Oh, shit. Big Baca. Ricky Mac should have mailed his bike to Adler with a note saying, you're welcome. <laughs> Except he would have put U apostrophe R-E. Ricky's math was faster than my math. I'm a fucking wizard addition. He was fucking me up. He was quick with it. Yeah, he's kind of he's a student of the game too. You know what I mean? He knew he knows shit that I didn't think he he's not. I think Colton would be like him. Colton and Ricky would like each other. Like they're like they're yeah, that's a good point. Students of the game. Yeah, they pay attention. They could do. Go ahead. They could do like point math right after an event, probably. Like oh, 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 I bet you they would just they would just pick up on it so quick. Like, oh, I got 10th place. Okay, that's 80 points or whatever, you know? Rolling Stone is out, is for out of touch dads who, who wear ripped jeans. <laughs> it's for, uh, damn. Bernie, you should have said, uh, you should have used the greater than or less than sign. Sevon's math, not as good as LeBron's school math. You should have, like, you know what I mean? Like, Sevon's is less than. That's like the the alligator cool, eating. Yeah, the that's greater. the cool thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> You know he's old when he doesn't do that. Yeah, they, yeah, Jack Mosley, exactly. Him and Colton could spend all day together and not say a word, and it wouldn't be weird. That's why I get I get a little nervous when Greg's on the show because Greg and I are the kind of people who will be on the phone and we won't talk for a few minutes. But I'll just have him in my ears as I'm doing shit or I'm driving. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we'll start talking again, and I get nervous, like, what if we just do that on the show? <laughs> You start doing your chores on the show. Zach Jones dropping bombs. He stayed fit. By he, he means Ricky Mack. For four years without competing to get back to the games. He got to love it a lot. Man, that's crazy. Got a lot of respect for that guy. I'm going to check my um, live call-in notes. Sometimes I have some important shit on there. Paper Street Coffee, Swolverine. Um, I know why people don't want to play racquetball with me. I already talked about that. Oh! <laughs> That was you a guys great story. The, uh, you guys know about the Tyson Bajan shirt over at um, uh, Vindicate? Yeah. Dude, I want to show you this article I found on uh, Tyson Bajan. Watch this. Re- look at this. Dude, so many. F- oh, I can't. Wait, what? There it is. Oh. It's coming. Oh, thank you. Um, Z- Sevon, three for t- three for ten. Oh, my show today was only three of ten with Ricky? Are you serious? I don't know. That seems harsh. That's rough. I'd give myself a a 10 out of 10 for content and working with Ricky and a 7 out of 10 for being myself. I felt a little um, <laughs> chili cheese dick today. But other than that, I was, I was, I was having fun. Okay, look at this. Four Chicago pair. This is a uh, – uh, I don't know what this is. BGO News. Four Chicago Bears players in danger – of going into second preseason game. 
in danger of going in, oh meaning that they could get whacked right mm-hmm are the rookies coming up across the defensive line? Could Vellis Jones Jr. be playing his way off the roster? Is there reason to worry about a certain quarterback? God, this is like um, my like chalk up. Jesus Christ. P.J. Walker showed cause for concern, and then it goes on and talks about him. And then it says, P.J. Walker, I guess, is uh, there's concern he's going to get cut. And then it says this. In contrast, Nathan Peterman. Peterman. Peterman looked fine. He finished four of six for 58 yards on the day. But who we should really be talking about is the undrafted rookie, Tyson Bajan. Yeah, came baby. came in and completed four of five for 37 yards and looked sharp. Bajan came out of Shepard as an incredible accurate passer, having thrown over 2,000 passes in college ball and completing 70% of those passes. A regular on the Sevon podcast, he is sweet, intelligent, and a man of high integrity. Oh, we got a little plug. Wow, nice. Regardless of the level of competition, his numbers are outstanding. And in his limited action against the Titans, Bajant looked accurate as per usual. Again, this could be somewhat of an overreaction, but Walker needs to step it up. Bajant uh, looked like he wanted it. He does. Sebby, you should get um, Tyson back on. I'm trying. <laughs> Fucking trying. You know what happens. These motherfuckers get successful and kick us crossfitters to the kizzerb. It's fine. I was really, I was, I kept refreshing my page looking for more articles about that game. I'd only seen the one. There was a tweet. There was a great tweet that showed a 26 pound, uh, 26 pound, 26 yard pass. Oh, yeah. I can just call Tyson, like, right now. and be like, yo, what the fuck, dude? I texted you three days ago. Luckett, we... Oh, I talked about Brandon Luckett picking a girl up by the bra. Well, dude, what what could we do to have Brandon Luckett on more? If you ever want to have him... If we ever think of any reason to have him, I need to put him in my Google um, AdWord... Or, no, Google Alerts. That guy's yeah, he's great. cool. Oh my god, he's so great. Oh, I love this. Can I play something too? Before you, I want to play something for you. Uh, uh, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy. Do you like this guy? I've seen him a couple times. Sorry, I'm just going through my notes now. I didn't give you these. I, I should have. It's all right. Um. Okay. L- 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 Listen to this. Listen to this. This is a pansexual LGBTQIA plus activist approached uh, Vivek Ramaswamy at the Iowa State Fair with a question. He answered directly in the name of protecting against tyranny of the majority. We've created a new tyranny of the minority. That's just the truth. What were your opinions on the LGBTQ plus community? Well, I don't think it's one community. Really? Yeah. I mean, how could it be? You just mashed together an alphabet soup. Trans is fundamentally in tension with gay, if you ask me. But what's your opinion? I'm personally a pansexual, so I was okay. just wondering what your views on same-sex couples were. I don't have a negative view of same-sex couples, but I do have a negative view of a tyranny of the minority. So, so I think that in the name of protecting against a tyranny of the majority, and there are times in this country's history where we have had a tyranny of the majority, we have now, in the name of protecting against tyranny of the majority, created a new tyranny of the minority. And I think that that's wrong. I don't think that somebody who's religious should be forced to officiate a wedding that they disagree with. I don't think somebody who is a woman who's worked really hard for her achievements should be forced to compete against a biological man in a swim competition. I don't think that somebody who's a woman that respects her bodily autonomy and dignity should be forced to change clothes in a locker room with a man. That's not freedom, that's oppression. And so I believe that we live in a country where free adults should be free to dress how they want, behave how they want, and that's fine. But you don't oppress, you don't become oppressive by foisting that on others. And that especially includes kids, because kids aren't the same as adults. And so I think adults are free to make whatever choices they want, but do not foist that ideology onto children before children are in a position as adults to make decisions for themselves. And so I think a lot of the frustration in the country, and if I'm being really honest, that I also share, comes from that new culture of oppression where saying those things can actually get somebody punished. And in my case, it's part of why it's my responsibility to say them. And 
I respect that you may have a different opinion, and that's okay. It's part of what makes our country great is that you and I can be civil and have this conversation, and that we live in a country that still gives us, each of us, the right to speak you know, to a presidential candidate and back, and still say that we pledge allegiance to the same nation. So I think that's the beauty of our country, and that's my honest opinion. Awesome. Well, Thanks. thank you very much. I appreciate thank that. Thank you for your civility as well. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Hey, dude, it would have taken RFK six months to say all that. I'm not, I'm like, like, I'm just saying, I'm not trying to be a dick. <laughs> I mean, that dude just fucking ran around the bases. Like, he touched everything. Yeah, he did. And it wasn't like he was just bullshitting either, I don't think. Because I, I, I don't think she comprehended everything that he was saying, but I do think that what he said was tactful. Oh, God, Barry, you're so stupid. You don't know what pansexual is? That's like when you fuck pans, like pots and pans. <laughs> Very you, close. Yeah, you just fuck pots and pans and stuff, dude. Come on, it's so obvious. I don't even want to know. Don't even. You don't need to. You okay, need all right. To. All right. Okay, to. okay. Yep. I'm sorry. I don't mean to shoot down your job. You still have a job here, Caleb. High-paying cool, job man. at the Savon Podcast, but you don't. Some shopping carts should just be left out there in the parking lot. Fair enough. I don't want to know. Uh, cast iron nonstick. It's all of them. It's inclusive. It's just straight pan fucking. <laughs> Ricky Mac, don't fuck pants. Here we go. Here's the orange uh, in tribute to Tyson Bajant. Probably never come on the show again. Still love him. Just looking, I'm like, oh my god, he was once on the show. The one that got away. Yeah, it's cool. I'm I just like joking. Shirt. No one start like hating on him in the um in the um just love on him. He's good. It's a joke. Hey, someone say the, the Danny thing is just crazy. Here's the thing. Here's all I have to say about Danny Spiegel. She has an in fucking insane body. She works incredibly hard. Um she has a shit ton of followers. Um she's really good at CrossFit. Um I don't even know what to say to her. Like, I could, I think I could take better pictures of her and do better interviews with her than anything she's done out there. Um, I would have put her uh, in a if she wanted to do. I, I love what the fact that she's if she's trying to get attention for Hawaii, she's doing it. And um, I, I don't think it, it really bums me out that Wad Zombies page is not a meme account anymore. That's not what I, I probably should call Nick and tell him this directly and not over the thing. I don't, I don't. Just post the meme. I don't need any explanation. I don't need any attacks on Danny. I don't need, like, I don't care about any of that. Just post the meme so I can laugh at it. Here she gets attention again. And then she could write in the comments, yep, that's me. And then it could be funny. Instead, it's, like, turned into this big fucking, like, drama. Like, I'm going to tell you guys a lesson here. First of all, oh, Nelly, here we go. I'm going to go hard in the paint. First of all, that that kettlebells and cocktails thing, that that whole make wads great again meme page, complete garbage. First of all, I don't understand eighty percent of the memes on there. Me personally, so maybe I'm stupid. I think it's horrible. Second of all, any meme person who tells you their identity, like Wad Zombie has done or is these he has done, is no longer a meme page. It is no longer a meme page. The second you out yourself on a meme page, it is no longer a meme page. It's like you cut your own balls off. You never, ever, ever tell anyone in the world who the fuck. Look, we don't know who Trish is. It's fucking brilliant. The second we know who you are, he, I mean, he has to, poor Wad Zombie has to justify every fucking post he makes now. Go completely anonymous. It completely ruins it. And, and Make Wad's Great Again can't even be a real account. How do you have 500,000 followers or 300,000, whatever he has, and, and there'll be two comments, and they're both bots? That's pretty bad. Dude. And, and what is – why would Jason Kalipa go on that podcast? I can't wait till he comes on here in a couple of days. Why, why would anyone go on a brand-diminishing podcast? What, what is wrong? What is wrong with the people around me? Do you guys not like – it's not, it's not fucking sophisticated at all. Yeah, it becomes a politics game once you out yourself. It's no longer about fun and funny. 
Just be fun and funny. And Danny's completely, the poor girl's completely lost her mind. She thinks people are being mean to her. Like, dude, 99% of all all the dudes, um, uh, 1.7 million dudes jerk off to you a day. Like, what more do you want? That's like, that's what your account is. Like, it's okay. You can keep telling yourself it's for women empowerment or no one should be talking about my body or whatever. But but no one hates you. Like, not one... The only people who hate you are the people that you th- that you they only hate you because you think that people hate you because you say that. No, I did not freeze. My fucking internet connection is tits. My camera is great. My studio is out of fucking control. I have the fucking nicest fucking studio right now. Wait till I show you. Yeah, no one. Er, er, you, any guy that's even talking sh- – anyone who's ever even talking shit to you, if they were in your presence, they would just stop anyway. Like how is she getting caught up in any of that unless she's just playing the fucking super chess and it's like, hey, she's fighting with people in order to bring attention to Maui. Then fuck. I'm stoked for you. But you actually – some people actually seem like butt hurt. People are like defending her. You don't defend someone on a meme page. It's a fucking joke. Here's the cord right here. Dude, God, this studio is so nice. When you started putting okay, up the- Danny's just reflecting. Whatever, it, it, go ahead, Caleb. I just it, the negativity is just like, dude, how are these people not having fun? I, I think those people, ha- like, how are you not having fun? Because it doesn't look like they're having fun. Even if she is a narcissist, whatever, have fun with it. Go ahead. When, you, when I saw you putting uh, miscolored foam pieces yeah. on the wall, I started going a little nuts. You were tripping. But hey, but it'll be, um, it'll be consistent, right? So like that whole bottom will be gray. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's no. on my office. I know, but you have to <laughs> stare at it. No, I don't care. I was just joking. Not and, really hey, joking. This is, and this is one inch thick foam, and now and this is two inch thick foam, by the way. Oh. All this shit behinds me is going to, behinds me, behinds me, behind me is going to go soon too. Really? What are you going to do with it? I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to, cl- dude, you got to see in here, like right over here is going to be a big, huge TV screen, like 75 or 80 or 90 inches. I can't remember. I ordered it on Amazon. It shows up tomorrow. And then right through here, I can, there's a couch right here now. Oh yeah. And I, and I, and I, and I got all new. I wish I could show you this arm I got. I got all new arms and all new cameras oh. and every, like the whole fucking studio is like nuts. There's just shit everywhere. That's like awesome. Arms and carpets and foam and oh, I'm so excited. That's dope. Yeah. Sex couch. Not really. But. <laughs> I'm going to give you more camera angles. You'll see. Meanwhile, Caleb uh, has half a dorm. I know, and I keep promising Caleb shit too, no, more shit. <laughs> Caleb, what do you? Are you just on one laptop? Uh, yeah, I have a laptop right here, and mm-hmm. then a monitor right here. How big is a monitor? Twenty-four inches, maybe. It's wow, it's tiny. Yeah, it's. I mean, can your computer run two monitors? Probably. I'd have to get another uh, like connection thing. Sousa brought a computer to Madison for you, a new computer, brand new in the box, and didn't give it to you. Oh, he did text me about that. I think he's going to send it to me. Okay, good. Yeah, it'll be exciting. Yeah, He's on a PS4. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a PS4. <laughs> uh, it's old school. All black panels would professionalize the studio. Thanks. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't have to be the same color. I have. I could do it all the same color. Why would I do that? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, no. I'm, I have. I got the gray on purpose to give it like texture and feel and like. No, I'm not, I don't agree. Listen, I'm the one who said the Danny Spiegel should be. What is the Hawaiian flag? Can we see the what is the Hawaiian flag? Do, do they have a Hawaiian flag bathing suit? Maybe I'll buy her a fucking bathing suit like to try to make the peace. Hawaiian, 
probably Eric. it'll probably like backfire. <laughs> uh, Hawaiian flag bathing suit. Um, I think Hawaiians would riot if they saw that. Be- because it's because it, it's it, like the the British Empire or something. I just know that Hawaiians are very particular about like their culture. Uh, how about this? Um, this is kind of a cool bathing suit. Yeah, that's nice. I don't like. Here's an. I don't like all the like the really skimpy. I don't like really skimpy bathing suits. You think that's skimpy? No, that one's good. That oh, one's okay. good. That one's that one's that's a lot. Um, how about I'm gonna sh- how about this one? That okay. one's cool. Yeah, little 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 more to it. It's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, I wonder if I type in a Hawaiian bathing suit one piece. Big one piece guy, huh? I I don't know. Just lately, I've been into one pieces. Uh, Nalani Hawaii state flag USA sexy two piece bikini. Oh, on Amazon. Oh shit. Oh shit! This is a great bathing suit. <laughs> How would I get this? How could I buy this for Danny? That's good. That's good. That's a nice bathing suit, right? For sure, I like it. See, Hiller bought John Young uh, you know, twenty five hundred followers. I'm going to buy Danny a bathing suit. I feel bad; it's twenty bucks. She probably is like, I ain't wearing something that's worth twenty bucks. You know, sometimes there are um, influencers, uh, content creators. Um, they have like an Amazon gift like cart and oh. they just have things that they want. Oh. And then you can just like buy them and sell them to her. So maybe she'll put it on her want list and you can just buy it for her as like a gift. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Hey, do you think she would do a um if she knew that let's say how much money would it take for her to do a photo shoot with me? To donate it to Maui. She's. I mean, I wonder how much money she, they gave her to go to Saudi Arabia. So I imagine she's probably got like. She's gonna be expensive, even if it's to save the Hawaiian yeah, people. Probably like a hundred grand. God, here's a one piece. It's a little expensive. Is it forty dollars? No, uh, no. But uh, um, I'll show you. It's a little expensive, and I'm I'm not a huge fan of it for some reason. Here's a one piece. Yeah, no, no way. Hey, dude, that's that chick. That's not even a, that chick's not even really wearing that bathing suit. No, she's not. Do you see that? Like right here, this isn't something's not right here. Yeah, they just like took a picture of it and put it on that model. Look at look at they have an X X X X X. <laughs> Wait a second. How the fuck is the extra small the same price as the XXXXXL? That's like five times as much material, isn't it? Uh, it's six, uh, five plus six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go with nine times more material. If each, if each, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven times between seven and nine. That's Dude, if you buy bullshit. a double XL hoodie, it's like. Five dollars more. There's no way that's still the same price. That's really true. What you just said. Yeah, like whenever I've tr- tried to buy, like whenever I've had to buy like double XL stuff for family or whatever, it ends up being like a surcharge of five plus dollars. Hey, bro, look at twenty five, twelve hundred and uh, uh, fifty nine five star reviews. Is that really true? No you way. Even, you can't click on it. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's crazy. Are the reviews at the bottom of the page? Oh, they're there. Oh, these are all fake ass bathing suits on this chick. Do you see? These aren't. This isn't yep. real. It's the this same is like chick. those clothes you put on people when you're a little kid in those books that like stick on people. <laughs> <laughs> first things first. Thank you for your products, Mr. Cliff. I like the way you advertise your products. Oh, Great. Yeah. Qu- uh, it's all dudes. Oh, oh shit. Oh. And people said, wow. I will say, though, for whatever reason. So uh, wait a second. Just so you know real quick, this isn't for the bathing suit. This is for everything they fucking sell. Okay, go on. I, I had a friend I was deployed with. He's, I want to say, f- Polynesian. Uh-huh. And for whatever reason, 
every island has like their own shirt manufacturer and it's, it looks exactly like that. Like they just, that you can design whatever you want and they have like one family on that island that just makes a bunch of shirts. And so it was, so like if you ever had like a softball team and you want to make a bunch of jerseys, you just have like dude over there make a bunch of shirts. The same one. I can't remember which bank it was, but if it was Wells Fargo or Bank of America, but when we were on one of the islands, I was looking for the ATM machine for one of those banks. And they're like, hey, they don't have that ATM machine here. And I'm like, how can that fucking be? And they're like, because of the fucking Hawaiian Boys Club or the Hawaiian Mafia. And basically all those islands, it's like you said, everything is like who you know and it's, the, it's, it's, it's controlled. Massively. It's crazy. Robbie Myers, uh, send the XXXXXL to Sporty Beth. They didn't have a 6X. They only had a 5X. That one would cost more. The 6X? Yeah, for sure. Oh, Beaver's right for the extra large, five dollars more. Vindicate great website to get your credit card info. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, what's crazy is they didn't even try to like put one four star in there. Yeah, like if you go to like an Amazon review, there's at least like four one star reviews, and they're all like, "This didn't come on time," stuff like that. Yeah, the box was broken. Right. Hey, I got a de- I got a dehydrator, twenty four tray dehydrator today. Twenty four trays. Yeah. Is it the size of a fridge? It's huge. It's big. And I um a, a, a branch broke on one of my apple trees, and like I don't know how many hundreds of apples hmm. had to be, even though they were still not done. They had to decide to do something with them. So I gave a bag of them to a friend, like a huge, like a grocery bag full. And then I cut like two grocery bags and I ordered a dehydrator. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to make. Is it the one that Dave has? I saw him post. No, 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 no. For... He's got, he's got a $6,000 uh, or $7,000 freeze dryer. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah. That shit. It's crazy. Yeah. That was wild. Uh-oh, you guys want to hear about the patriarchy? Boy, do I. What time is it? Oh, hour and 42. I should go. I have to set up my office and get ready for Rolling Stone tomorrow. You guys want to see one more video? Ready? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's it's titled, a, a, uh, a Woman Wants a Man That's Greater Than the Burden of Reality. That's an, wow, that's it. That, that's an interesting, that sentence is a mouthful. You know what? Let me see if I can refresh this page, and then boom. Okay, here we go. Brace yourself, people. This one's uh, this one's a lot. Stay open-minded. Here we go. But Islam is quite patriarchal, isn't it? I mean, doesn't the Quran say that men have authority over women? Well, don't they? Men are the ones who have been oppressing you all this time, right? I mean, according to your own narrative, men have been running the show. The feminists are asking for their so-called rights. From who exactly? Look, if you didn't have what you call patriarchy, then what you would have is a hell on earth for women. Because clearly, women do not have the power to coerce men, to force men, to make men deal with them this way or that way. If you're out somewhere and a man starts to chat you up and you don't want to be chatted up, what do you do? You tell him, I have a boyfriend, I'm married, and he goes away. You have to conjure up an imaginary man to get him to back off because nine times out of ten, only a man can keep another man in check because men are inherently more dangerous than women. Uh, that part's really important right there. It's a good thing and a bad thing. It, it's all the men are all, it's all the shit. It's the men, the men, the carjackers, the ones that, pick the apples from the highest part on the tree and bring them home. All that shit, all the dangerous shit, it's the men. Both ends of the spectrum, good and bad. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, brace yourself. There's more. We're not done. I know it's a lot. Instead of patriarchy, replace that word with bodyguard. What makes more sense? For you to be my bodyguard or for me to be your bodyguard? Who do you think is more capable of protecting who? From who? 
If men didn't protect women, who would? Why, men would do whatever they want. And isn't your bodyguard responsible for you? Shouldn't you listen to him if he says, for example, don't go here, don't go there, or let's take this route instead of that route because it's safer? Isn't that authority? But he's doing it for you. Would you feel resentment about that authority? That's irrational. Wild. I'm not saying I agree with all that. No one get all fucking crazy. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah, I know. And there's definitely uh, situations that are. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying. It ain't, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Oh, 15,000 messages, dude. It's fucking chaos in there. I can't do it. But you, the reason why is no one's sending me just like one thing. Like every person is sending me like 35 um, great clips and I just can't do it. I'm fucking losing my mind over it. I got a fucking life. Is this Andrew Tate's dad? Dude. And and you know what's getting crazier about the, the DMs? Every day this podcast grows by like 10 to 20 new subscribers. And like you guys aren't like normal fucking like people. Everyone's like fucking here is like a fucking thinker and has something that they got to tell me that I kind of need to, that I want to see. And it's like, fuck, dude. Trying same, to keep up this, with the IG DMs is insane too. Is oh is it? I yeah, I can't even imagine what it's like in there. It's the same thing. You, it's not like one reel. It's like twenty reels with explanations of all of them. So if um, I like uh, the most recent message, I'm sorry. That's I saw everything. I just like the most recent one. Yeah, and dudes like this really fuck me up because I've been DMing with this dude forever, right? Like I've seen him in my account since day one. Yep. So I'll always open his, and sometimes I see it says like nine next to Ken's name. I'm like nine Fuck. plus. Fuck. <laughs> but I still do it because I'm just addicted to like my crew. Like there's a crew in there, right? Philip Kelly's in there. There's a crew. Vindicate. Oh man. No, I don't think Corey. I don't know. I don't know if Corey Leonard sends a lot. I know. I said it to be funny. Bernie Gannon, 10 to 20 subscribers. I know. That's what's crazy. That, that's the point of that whole thing. This podcast grows so slowly, but they're all fucking real people. No one's ever sent me a nude. Nobody. Every time we, like, say send them, nobody does. So. <laughs> I, try to, I try to say that so, like, I feel like some, someone will feel sorry for me. <laughs> Ken Walters is a good dude. He's a great dude. Um, there we go. Fine, I'll send you one. Thank you. <laughs> they don't. It's gonna be like a picture of a duck. Look, here's a duck not wearing any clothes. No, Dick, I'm good. Just joking. I'm good. <laughs> Take it back. Uh. Hey, wasn't there a guy who called on the show who ran like a, who was the head of HR at his company and he took a picture and you could see his dick in the reflection or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot who that was, but he definitely did that. Pauly G. Sevon, did you hit puberty late in life? Your voice sounds so much deeper now than on the CF podcast. <clears throat> Maybe it's this mic setup or the room. I got carpet in here now. It's the foam on the walls for sure. Maybe it's all the peptides. You just go oh, have on a checkout. What? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Use code Sev on at checkout. Thank you. CAPeptides.com. Oh, shit. I got to do this too. Listen, listen. If you're an affiliate owner or you own a gym, any gym, you need to look in the show notes. Are they in yesterday's show notes? I wonder if Sue's already put them in there. Should I call Susan and bug them? Basically, uh, Two Brain is doing their um, annual uh, survey of all gym owners in the world. Doesn't matter what country you're in. There'll be a link in the show notes, and you should click on it, and you should uh, fill out the um, the survey, and then and then it basically turns into this: the state of the industry report. Here's the third edition. I've shown that I showed this last night. I'm going to keep showing you guys this. Here, I'm just going to open up to a random page and look. How many hours uh, do gym owners work a week? And then here it is. You know what I mean? And there's a graph. Number of survey uh, respondents, it tells you. 
and then hours per uh, work per week. And then down here is overall profitability. And every page is like this, dude. It's crazy. Uh, length of engagement changing lives or retention for clients. And then it gives you averages and, and for retention of clients. This is free. Once you, This is free. Uh, Homeboy puts this out. Chris Cooper and Two Brain puts this out. Two Brain. Send that shit over here. I think there's an online version. You can print it out. I don't know if you're talking about what you're talking about. Send over here. It could be this Wolverine. I fasted on Sunday. You guys know I stopped eating Saturday night. I didn't start eating again until Monday. I ate all day Monday, and then today I didn't eat. But you know what I did today? I did a workout today, and I was going to post it. And I kind of hurt myself doing it. Even though I'm fasting today again, I'm just not eating again today. I took a big old scoop. I took a pre-workout of Swolverine and drank a shot of espresso. And when I say pre-workout of Wolver Swolverine, I take their pre-workout, their creatine, and then their hydration. And I put it all in one cup, and I stir it with a spoon, and I throw it down. And I did this workout, and I warmed up really good for it. And what I'm basically, I'm, I'm back on track to try to do the 100-pound uh, dumbbell snatch. Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm, I was going to do two. I guess I'm going to do one because my left arm isn't 100% yet. Hmm. but I was doing 80 pound, one 80 pound dumbbell snatch, one negative muscle up. And I was going to do that just for 10 rounds, right? Just to see how it felt. And something happened when I put the, not bad, but when I put on the, on the third or fourth round, I switched to the 60 pound dumbbell because something in my upper back, like not injured, but something weird happened. So hmm. yeah, Wolverine. Still got to work up to that hundy. I'm going to. Friday night, Daniel Brandon's coming on, so she says. I think we got Adam Clink. Adam Clink. Yeah. Or uh, Horvath's right. coach. Yeah. You think Sick. he knows? You think he knows I called her? Yeah. Everyone, do you think everyone in her camp knows? Do you think Ben Smith knows? Do you think she told them? Do you think it's like, oh, shit, that Sevon dude called me? Yeah, if she didn't tell him, they found out pretty quick. Good. I hope so. Part of me thinks she didn't tell anyone. Uh, Hopper had to switch again. He's going to a wedding. You know, I think he's going to Taylor's wedding of all people. It, it's kind of weird, right? Stealth? I don't know for sure. I thought Hopper. Oh, yeah, that's Karina. Karina, so what's up? No, like, you don't. What, what, what's your thing on dudes? Give me a little pushback on the dudes thing. Maybe I agree with you. Uh, Are those coming to your house? No, I live on an old, old highway road, country road, and the accidents, whenever there's an accident, it's horrible. And so, oh, yeah. Tons of people. Uh, tomorrow, so listen to this. Oh, is tomorrow Thursday? No. Tomorrow's tomorrow, the guy from yeah. Rolling Stones coming on. Nothing tomorrow night. Thank God. Thursday, I'm pumped. Jason Kalipa in the morning. To find out why the fuck. That might be Jason's last time on my podcast. I might punish him for going on other people's oh, podcasts. No. I can't have someone who's been brand. I bring him on my podcast for his brand value. I'm using him. And then after Jason leaves, uh, he'll be on 45 minutes. Guess who's coming on? Guess. The last Dick. needle mover. Who? Dick. Yes. Thursday morning after Jason Kalipa. Kind of I should call that the last needle or the the old needle mover and the new needle mover. Jason Kalipa and Rich Froney. Jason Kalipa's not gonna be able to move any needle if he keeps fucking going on the wrong podcast. <laughs> yes, thank you. Philip Kelly, Rich, the goat. Get down to the bottom of this fucking biking thing. I need to make up some ground with Rich, too. Because the last podcast, when I was like, you're being a dick, I was kind of like, you're being a dick to Dave, and it got all weird. So I got to, like, I got to really love on him again. Like, you know, you got in a fight with your girlfriend to make up, make up sex. Very similar, yes. And then, uh, and then after that, Taylor and JR go on at 11 a.m., the programming show. You guys have fucking made that the most popular show on the Sevon podcast. I'm really happy for them, assholes. Uh, and then uh, Friday morning, uh, Friday morning is going to be an interesting morning. Oh, wait, what? I have Rich on Friday morning. Is Rich coming on Friday? What the fuck is going on here? Hold on a second. Hold on. Um, oh, okay. So Friday, we don't have a guest Friday morning yet. But Darian Weeks is coming on, and we are going to talk Friday morning about Aljo and Sugar sh uh, sh the Sugar Show. 
Sugar Sean O'Malley. I'm going to dare you on for 20 minutes. We're going to get to the bottom of this, see who's going to win. I think Aljo is going to win. I hope he does, honestly. Oh, shit. Listen to this. Polly G, this is fucking heavy. Rich Froney might be more consistent at CrossFit than CrossFit itself. I changed my mind. No haircut, Susan. Oh, look, Susan looks disappointed. She's giving me a look like... Pissed. Yeah. My cutting it. You love JR now. I'm telling you, that show's fucking taking off. Fucking Ding Dongs probably start their own podcast soon, their own podcast channel. No one scheduled Saturday. No one scheduled Sunday. Monday, I, I, I... Oh, shit. Monday, we have Fluffy Duck scheduled. That can't happen because oh, yeah. I, I won't be here. Shit. We got to change, move him. He's Susa. cool. You're out of your mind, BJ. You're out of your mind. Fuck no. I know. Aljo. Thank you, Patrick. Can't say I'm fans of either of them, but I just would prefer Aljo to win. Aljo's going to time in a nod, I think. I don't I think, think so I respect uh, Sugar Shane as much as I should, though. I don't know. The way he was talking in the interview, it just... Sugar Shane? Like, Sugar Sean. Sugar Sean. Sorry. Sugar Sean. The way he was talking in that interview, he just he doesn't seem confident at all. He's like, I'm just going to stay away from him. I'm not going to let her wrap me up. You saw that where on the UFC station? Yeah, I think it was... I can't believe... I can't remember if it was UFC or something else, but he's like, I'm just not going to let him tie me up. I'm like, good fucking buddy. Hey. You're just going to run away the whole fight? Yeah, he's gonna get. He's not gonna be able to get away from Aljo. And Aljo's, no way. Aljo's pace is crazy. Hey, um, uh, I want to show you this. My kid, my kid's a uh, um, jujitsu uh, striking and uh, MMA instructor has a fight Friday night on UFC Fight Pass. Oh, no shit. and it's here in town. And just so you know, instead of going to the fight like I should, I'm um, I'm uh doing the CrossFit Games uh, show, update show. Look at McKenna. His oh, shit. Coach. That's awesome. Would she, yeah, would, she, would she get you tickets if you could go? Oh, no. I would buy I would buy tickets. It's, I mean, oh. it's right near my house, dude. It's right near my fucking house. This chick dude, goes that's... to all my kids' fights. That's why I'm such a douche for not going. But the only way I can pay the bills is to keep doing shows. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that, that and this is the two of them. That's that's their um, that's their main jiu-jitsu coach Nico, and then that's their uh, main um, MMA coach um, McKenna. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that good is for her. Cool. I think that's the Seychelles. Yeah, I'm pumped. Oh, she keeps asking me if the kids want to come over and ride horses at her house. Fuck. Oh, she's a horse girl. I think her family is horse people. Okay. All right. But she, take it back. I don't sense any crazy in her. She seems cool though. Yeah, she's great. She yeah. seems so good with your kids too. Oh, she's awesome. She's strict. Oh, good. She's strict. Oh, she looks so young there. Fuck, that's three years ago. Holy shit. Wow. Anyway. That's cool. Yeah, I'm pumped. Pump. It's, it's cool. on Fight Pass? Yeah, it's on UFC Fight Pass. Sweet. And she's dedicated. That'll be cool. Oh, here it is, right here. LFA 165, McKenna Mitchell, LFA Strawweight Bout, Kaiser uh, Permanente Arena, Santa Cruz, California. <laughs> <laughs> what is it comments yeah oh i don't know if i should see these don't piss me off you guys it's my kid oh she'll be your bodyguard yeah 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 let's... dude what's crazy is it's a good eye patrick this girl fucking walks around at 135 and she is thin yeah I mean, she's tiny but she's gonna fight 115 i mean she's tall she's a tall asian chick and today in class, I could tell um, the, uh, at jiu-jitsu, she was on, like, when I said bye to her, she's usually, like, get, like make strong eye contact with me and, like, will be like, hey, if you want to talk, you, like, you know, to the parents. Today, uh, she's already, like, losing weight well, she and shit. She, yeah, she's serious as a heart attack. Yep, yep, Rambler, yep. She's dropping down to uh, 115. 
Damn. I think my kids asked me recently if I could beat her up. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> Can't even beat you kids up. Yeah. Beat her up. That's fine. Yeah, arms and legs are great. She she probably and she, her jujitsu is good. And she, yeah, she's good. I'm pumped. Yeah, she horvath me. Yep. But nah, yeah, kind of. She's close though. I call her family. You know what I mean? I let her take the Yeti cups home and bring them back. You know what I mean? Like when I make her a cup of coffee when she comes over. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. She can, she can take the Yeti cup home. $30 Yeti cup. Not the Paper Street ones. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Ricky, um, Ricky Mac. Ricky Mac. Ricky Mac. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a motherfucking influencer. You too, Caleb. Today, we have changed through our influence. Ricky is now Ricky Mac. It is official. I like it. With our, with our 10 new followers we put on a day. <laughs> Anyone's feelings were hurt in the making of this podcast. You have some uh, work to do.